Would you like to read us a song? So, uh, those groups serve incredibly important needs. Uh, they, they feed the hungry. They put, uh, they give children mentors, children who, 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 whose families may not be uh, intact. They do uh, they, uh, any number of things. Housing, I mentioned community home trust. They're helping. Those charities and the funding that they get from the county are absolutely critical. And, and until the counties or the towns can fill, fill the role that those nonprofits are, are um, playing for our people, I do not think we should cut them. Um, I'm not going to leave my brain at the uh, check my brain at the door and say that every single nonprofit deserves funding. That's that's not what I'm saying. But I do think that the ones that we've been funding for the most part are making a difference for people in our county. Well, and I think it's probably worth noting that some conservatives think that the government should do less and private enterprise should do more. So at some point you have to say, well, if we take money away from private private enterprise, then who's in who's left? Who's left? Um, moving to the legislature, and since we're on the topic of education, which is huge, you know, you have the K through 12 portion, and you have the community college higher ed portion. Huge cuts made, teachers' assistance. I mean, really, the, the teacher raises were laughable. So, where do you even begin to restore integrity to the public education system? probably my turn now and I was a part of that group that would not have let that happen. Um, let me just say that I think that when we talk about priorities um, then those are, that's where our funds should go. If education is truly a priority in North Carolina and I believe it is, then we should make sure that it is funded correctly. When we talk about ensuring that um, our children are getting the best education, then it means that they need to have the best teachers. If we are not funding them properly, then we lose them. If we don't show them respect, then they leave North Carolina. And there was a, um, a survey that just came out today that put North Carolina at 50. How will we be able to recruit the best teachers if there's no reason for the best teachers to come to North Carolina? And what does that say about our investment in what we believe is a priority. So I think that if we're talking about what should really happen to education, we should determine where education is in our list of priorities and then fund it and then move to fund other situations based on what is left, understanding what our revenue projections are. Is that my question too? Mm -hmm. Well, um, I, I do disagree a little bit. Uh, I, I, I agree that education <laughs> I agree that education is a, a top priority of government. I also agree that it's really good to lay out your priorities and decide that you're going to fund them. But we are all naive if we think that we can fund all of our essential priorities with the revenue that's currently available. We are cutting, we're not, we're not just cutting waste. I'm, a, I'm opposed to waste. I don't want any of my tax dollars to go to waste or fraud. But uh, uh, so uh, we have a, a priority in early education. We have a priority in K through 12. We have got to fund our university system. And we've got to fund health care. Uh, health care education is an essential service. It's a public good. And health care is a public good and essential service. And we, we're not going to have a strong economy if we don't have a good education system or if we don't have healthy people. And Greg, just. And so I would. I'm sorry. 15 so seconds. 15 like seconds. That brings me right back to what I started, said before several times. We've got to have that conversation about taxes. What is fair taxes? If we, if we can agree on what we want to fund, and I think we could have that conversation, then the next step would be to agree on how you pay for it. And Greg, in addition to that question, if you'd like to, and we'll come back around to this in a subsequent, subsequent round, but I'd like to ask you to address the idea of vouchers and what the case for charters are and what the case against is. If that could be your question, and then we'll come back around. Sure. Um, so I believe that vouchers are unconstitutional on the face because the state constitution prohibits spending public tax dollars on a private good. So you can't spend it on a private school. You can't give your tax dollars to a private school. So. I, I don't know that eventually that the state Supreme Court is going to agree with me on that, but that would be my belief. 
Uh, I also think that vouchers are just bad policy because uh, we depend on public schools to be good for all people and the existing voucher plan uh, doesn't even help the people